What do you mean by a jealous God? His jealousy is not like human jealousy. It's a divine jealousy. Normally, we, we, we become jealous of another person when that person has something which I don't have. Then only you feel jealous. But then the divine jealousy, God is self-sufficient and he is omnipotent. He, everything is possible for him and he is complete. So looking at you, why he should be jealous of you? But then this is a divine jealousy where he has created you and me with a purpose and he has saved you and me with a purpose. Words said, God spoke all these words. I Yahweh your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. Do not have other gods before me. So he wants us to give him the first place because he does not want it. Because he's, there, is, there is no gradation in God's position. Everything, he's the first and last, Alpha, Omega, everything. But then, why? Because he loves you and me. If God is first in our life only, our life would be complete. Our, our life would serve the purpose of the very, very creation of ourselves. Otherwise, we will fall apart, fall away from the purpose of our life. So he wants us to be happy. He wants us to be complete, lacking nothing. For that, he wants us to have God in the first place. That is a very calling of God. So he gives the Ten Commandments, Decalogue. If you obey this, he will be your God and <coughs> we will be his people. So that's exactly why God want, want them to have these commandments, to make them special, special than other nations. Because they want to, he want to have that sense of belonging, my people, my, you belong to me. So it shows how much he loves us. The love behind the law is amazing. That's exactly why he's saying, do not make yourself a carved image or likeness or any likeness of anything in heaven or on an earth beneath or in the waters under the earth. You shall not bow down, bow down to them or serve them. Now, this is not, this does not speak about statues. So for that matter, you can't carve anything. But in, in Numbers, book of Numbers chapter 21, when the serpents came, God asked them to carve a bronze serpent and hang on a stick. Those who look at them, look at the snake, bronze snake, would be healed. So what about it? So you can't take the thing literally. So Ten Commandments we find in De Deuteronomy also. So Catholics, we take the Deuteronomy, uh, Ten Commandments ex explain in Deuteronomy. So here does not mean the statues in the chapel. A church <coughs> it's beyond that so you can't have you can you can have any image which represent God and you can you cannot it's a first image because human in, in, in Genesis chapter 2 we find human we are created with the likeness and image of God so if you the first image is us so if you give a person the first place that is where you you do but you worship idols. That's exactly where if you give money, the place that you should give God, that is idol worship. So that is idolatry. So it's it's terrible. So my dear friends, all what matters that you should give yourself undivided nature, undivided self. To God and then he says do not take 
name of Yahweh, God in vain. Yahweh will not leave unpunished anyone who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. For six days you will labor and do all your work, but seventh day is a Sabbath for Yahweh, your God. Do not work on that day, neither, your, <coughs> neither you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your servants, men or women, nor your animals, nor the stranger who is staying with you. So that, that, that seven, sixth day, seventh day is allocated to God, set apart, kadosh for God. It's a holy day. Holy day is holiday. All what matters is that you give the first place. God's place should be holy, kadosh, set apart. If you do this properly, my dear friends, then you will bear fruit. That's exactly when, when Jesus explains the parable of sower. The, the seeds that fell on the, fell on the road, fell on the rocky ground, fell with the thorny bushes, and then the rich soil. They will bear fruit. So if your soil is rich, if you give, your, give the first place to God, my dear friends, then only you will honor your father and mother because they are God-given gifts to me. Because of God, God's love, that I honor them. That's why, that's why Jesus asked see Peter, do you love me more than others do? If then feed my lamb. So that's how we love. Love as I have loved you. And do, do not kill. Why should I kill? Because, because I love my neighbor. The way Jesus loved me. Do not steal. I'm self-confident. And I'm content. I'm happy with what I have. But with what I have. Because I have Jesus. With Lord, there's nothing impossible for me. That is a secret, secret of self-satisfaction. Philippians chapter 3, you read and see. Chapter 4, you read and see. It's beautiful. Verse 11. And then do not give false witness to against your neighbor. Because you, you, you are, if you are with God, you say whether it's right or wrong. You don't have to prove yourself. Wrong witness is false witness for what? Do not cover your neighbor's house. Do not cover your neighbor's house. Do not cover your neighbor's wife or his servants. Man or woman or ox, donkey, anything that it is. You don't have to steal the other person's gifts. Because you have Jesus. You have him who provides everything. So that is the undivided nature. Where you give yourself completely not the when you own your word on the word of God completely which the seeds which will fall on the rich soil will be our fruit will be able to love on each other because that's exact my exact the reason you are called my dear friends so this is the invitation today have God give God the first place priority first place in the gradation and Everything will fall right, in the right place. That's how you will love each other when you allow God to love yourself. Amen. May God bless you.